Hey friends, it is Tate and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing really well today. So I'm doing a fun little festive video today for something different. I don't have any thrifting content for you guys today like usual. Also, I'm sorry for Churro in the background. He is playing with one of his new toys. But I thought I would do a fun festive bake with me. I'm going to be baking some cranberry orange scones. The recipe that I'm using is from Sally's Baking Addiction and I will link it down below. So I'm just going to get all the ingredients set out and then you guys can bake along with me as I go. So I have prepped all my ingredients. We have two cups of white flour, a half a cup of white sugar, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of orange zest, a half a cup of frozen grated butter. It calls for unsalted, but I did not have unsalted. So I used salted and omitted the salt from the recipe. A half a cup of heavy cream, one large egg, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then I have not got the cranberries out of the freezer yet because I want them to be really cold. So now we will assemble this all together to make the dough. So first I am supposed to add the flour, sugar, baking powder, and orange zest together in a large bowl and mix it very well. I just have done that and now I am supposed to add the grated butter. So it says you can use either a pastry cutter, two forks, or your hands. I find that my hands work best. The two forks, I don't really love doing because I don't like the sound of two forks hitting together. I don't know about you guys, but I really don't like that. I use some really nice butter. I use the Kerrygold butter. Oh, so lovely. It's just something about it being from Ireland, you know makes me happy. Basically, they said you want this to look like pea-sized crumbs, and I'll do a close-up here in a second for you guys. It's so hard to kind of determine like what is pea-sized crumbs, but just almost like little pebbles, but not the whole dough. It just kind of reminds you of that. You just want to incorporate the butter in fairly well, so that way it's not these big little chunks, basically big little chunks. Is that even a correct sentence? You also don't want to work it too much because you don't want the butter to get warm um, and melt into the dough. So I'll show you guys kind of how I have mine looking. So here's how it kind of looks. See how there are kind of like little almost pebbles. I believe that's kind of the texture that you want. I guess we'll find out when we bake it. So now I'm going to put this in the fridge and work on the next part of the recipe. All right, so the next part says we need to whisk the heavy cream, egg, and vanilla in a small bowl. We need to drizzle the wet ingredients over the flour mixture and then we'll add the cranberries until everything appears moistened. All right. All right, so I just added the heavy cream, egg, and vanilla. I'm going to grab a fork and whisk this together. All right, so now we're supposed to drizzle this over the flour mixture, which I'm going to grab out of the fridge. Mix this together and then add the cranberries, which is a heaping cup full of cranberries. All right, got my dough and my wet ingredients. And then we'll grab the cranberries. So I froze these last night. She just said it's better to use frozen. Um, and I do find that using frozen fruit in your scone does help. I've used fresh before and it just didn't work out very well. It kind of turned the entire dough blue because of the freshness of the fruit. 
So I would definitely suggest using frozen fruit if you can. We will add the wet to the dry and then we will add the cranberries. Morning, I looked outside my window with children lighting up the Christmas tree and the snow is falling. It reminds me of the good times, those winters we would spend just you and me. It's been such a long time. I'm going to put this on the counter with flour on my hands and knead it into a ball, or not knead it, I'm sorry, shape it into a ball. And then we'll cut it into the scone shapes. seems pretty good. I do know you don't want to overwork scone dough. And now we will cut them into the traditional scone shape of triangles. Also, in case any of you are curious about my apron, this is a rifle paper company apron that I was given last year for Christmas and I love it so much. I think it's so cute. All the little woodland animals on it. I think it's adorable. This is my favorite part, other than eating them, cutting the scones. Yes, I'm coming home to you. Oh, much I missed you. All right, and after we cut them, we're going to brush the scones with cream and sprinkle with coarse sugar. And then we're supposed to place them on a lined baking sheet and refrigerate for 15 minutes. So we will do that. One thing I know that is very crucial with scones is to make sure the dough is very cold when you go to bake them, which I feel like is just a standard procedure for anything pastry baking wise. It also says to top it with coarse sugar. I don't have coarse sugar, but I do have granulated sugar. So I'm going to use that in place of it. Ooh, these are going to be so pretty and festive. I would love to know what your guys' favorite thing to bake is. Mine is definitely scones because I feel like I should be in England and that's always a good feeling in my opinion. I've never tried some of the more adventurous things. I have tried macaroons before. Did not go so well, but I do love baking scones. So now we'll just top this with some heavy cream. I unfortunately do not have a pastry brush, so Fingers it is. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Just let me know if you guys have any Christmas traditions that you guys do around this time. I don't have many baking traditions. I do have quite a few um, traditions that we do with my family. We go see Christmas lights every year. We get pizza and drive around our city and go look at Christmas lights all together as a family, which is really fun. We always get Christmas pajamas every year. We do a big Christmas Eve get together with my dad's family, which is so much fun. And what else do we do? We always watch Christmas movies. We have my family over here. So we always do that after Thanksgiving. Um, and we never look at the Christmas tree until we're all there at my parents' house to open presents at Christmas. I do love Christmas traditions. All right, so now we'll put these in the fridge to let them sit for 15 minutes and I'll show you guys what they look like. Don't mind my little mess over here, but here they are. And so now we'll let them chill in the fridge. So I have the oven preheated to 400 and it's been 15 minutes. So now we're going to get ready to bake them. I'm super excited. They bake, bake for 22 to 25 minutes. So I'm gonna put those in and get those baking. It's white outside and the night is cold. Everyone's lighting candles in their homes. Yes, it's 
Christmas It's a magic time You can feel it in the air That every child Got their hearts filled up With joy Yes, it's Christmas Oh Snow is falling down, all the colored lights lighting up this town. And as I walk outside, hear the Christmas choir sing, Merry Christmas to you. This time of year is a time to So the scones, as you saw, are now finished and they are so delicious. This recipe is definitely one I would suggest making around the Christmas season. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun putting this all together and just shooting some different ways with my camera. And I hope you guys enjoyed this and had fun and I hope it kind of gave you all the festive feels. If you guys did enjoy this video, I'd love it if you would give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. If you like thrifting, vlogs, and just kind of lifestyle content, I would love if you would subscribe by clicking the red button down below and follow me along on this YouTube journey. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, at Tate and Thrifting is my name over there. It is linked down below. So I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.